here we have an example of a top heavy fraction and I showed you why it was top heavy in an earlier tutorial because the degree of the numerator here is 2 and the degree of the denominator if you were to expand this was also of 2 and in situations like this we had to divide the denominator into the numerator now the denominator gives if we multiply this out gives x squared minus 2x plus an x minus 2 which is really x squared minus x minus 2 and we need to divide this into the numerator so if I do this just over here okay we just have a margin and by long division if I divide x squared minus x minus 2 then into our fraction x squared plus 3x minus 1 then in the usual way I multiply the x squared with a 1 to get an x squared minus x minus 2 underneath here. I subtract to get the remainder and if I subtract we have x squared minus x squared is 0 and 3x minus minus x gives 4x and then minus 1 minus minus 2 gives plus 1. So this is our remainder and so therefore this particular fraction is identical to the 1 here plus the remainder which was 4x plus 1 over the divisor and the divisor was x squared minus x minus 2 which when factorized was x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 okay so I'll rub this out just keep it clean now okay now we have this particular fraction here which is now not top heavy because the degree of the top is 1 and the degree of the denominator is now 2 and so we can split this particular fraction in the usual way into partial fractions so therefore what we have is that 4x plus 1 over x plus 1 x minus 2 can be split into two partial fractions of the form a constant over the linear factor x plus 1 plus another constant which I'll call b over the linear factor x minus 2 and in the usual way as we've discussed before multiply both sides by x plus 1 x minus 2 and that will give 4x plus 1 is equal to a times x minus 2 plus b times x plus 1 and if I let x equal 2 that will make this bracket go to 0 and take it completely out that term so if we let x equal 2 we have 4 twos are 8 plus 1 is 9 so we therefore have 9 on the left hand side equals and then this bracket's gone and so we have 2 plus 1 is 3 so we have 3b which means that b is clearly 3 and similarly if I let x equal minus 1 which will make this bracket go to 0 then on the left hand side here we would therefore have minus 4 plus 1 which is minus 3 so minus 3 would equal minus 1 minus another 2 so that's minus 3a okay and then working that out gives a as 1 so I have my constants a and b and so all I need to do is substitute them into here and that will give me the fraction here expressed in partial fractions but I can go straight to the question and just simply say that x squared plus 3x minus 1 over x plus 1 x minus 2 is identical then to the one that we have here and in place of this we have an a 
OK over x plus 1. So that's going to be plus 1 over x plus 1. And then we have b over x minus 2. And b was plus 3. So that's going to be plus 3 over x minus 2. And there you have it. This fraction expressed in partial fractions.